to add any fractions, we need a least common denominator. And we'll find that by factoring these two denominators. We'll keep the numerator m. The denominator will be 6m plus 5n. That quantity is times 2m minus n. And we'll add the second fraction to m. The denominator here is 6m plus 5n and 2m plus 3n. The least common denominator will be the product of all of these different factors. 6m plus 5n we have in both. 2m minus n we'll need over here, and 2m plus 3n we'll need over in this first fraction. So we need to multiply the first fraction by 2m plus 3n, both the numerator and denominator, 2m plus 3n. For this fraction, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by 2m minus n. Multiply 2m plus 3n times m. That's 2m squared plus 3mn. And keep that common denominator now. 2m plus 3n times the quantity 6m plus 5n times the quantity 2m minus n plus the next fraction is 2m times 2m minus n for the numerator. That's 4m squared minus 2mn. The denominator, 2m plus 3n. 6m plus 5n and 2m minus n. We'll put the like terms together in the new numerator. 2m squared plus 4m squared is 6m squared. Positive 3mn and minus 2mn is plus mn. The denominator, 2m plus 3n times the quantity 6m plus 5n times the quantity 2m minus n. We can factor an m out of this numerator. Let's do that to be sure that we are done and cannot simplify further with the denominator. Factoring an m out gives us 6m plus n. That quantity will be multiplied by m. And the denominator, 2m plus 3n times 6m plus 5n and 2m minus n. There are no common factors, so there's our result.